Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my table. So, Collective, this is a message for somebody in particular. Could be some buddies, but I feel like this is somebody's been asking for a response to something, how to move through something, how to behave in some way. And this is a response to that request. So hopefully you guys have found this reading and are able to receive this response. I do channel messages prior to readings and then work with Oracle cards and tarot cards. If you guys are new here, thank you guys for joining me here. If you're turning, it's good to see you again. So I did actually get one message that came through for you guys. And this is where I feel this is somebody who's in asking in particular how do I do ABC? What do I do here? Experiencing a great deal of fear as well. Anguish is something that is kind of coming through. Ornery was something that came through earlier as well. Maybe feeling so on edge because your anxiety level is at such a point that it's difficult to operate in any other way. Well, collective, I did have a glyph come through, a symbol come through. So there are times where symbols come, I channel symbols, they do have particular instructions and purposes. So I'm going to show this one to the camera here. If you want to pause it, you can draw it out and use its function. This one is called fear forgotten or how to forget fear. So the instructions for this are to draw this out. Um, and I did get a request to to move away from the lined paper. I'm going to get through this first and I'll get another pad, you guys. So thanks for your patience. But to draw this out, to speak your fear into this here, I definitely see this central point here focusing on where that dot is open. Speaking a fear into that and then burning it. So this can be done as many times as you'd like for as many fears as you'd like. But I do feel that it's important to do one at a time. So speak a fear into this and then burn it. Um, also, actually, to fold it in half away from you once, and then you're going to burn this. So this is helping you to release something that, I, like I said, I'm getting that feeling of really high anxiety to the point of being a dick. <laughs> um, helping to relieve or release some of that pressure tension so that you can human again. I know that things are very difficult in a lot of ways for the entire globe these days. And I think that we're going to get through it. Okay. I know we're going to get through it. This is definitely here to give us a little bit of a, a little bit more bang for our buck or a little bit more mileage. Okay. So there were no other messages that came through. So thanks for joining me here, you guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there were no other messages that came through in channeling and I was told to do everything on camera here. So there were no cards pulled prior. This is kind of where I feel like hmm, this this feels like it's uh, somebody's been asking for an answer to something. So let's get into it. Let's see what, where we're going here. We're going to start with some Oracle cards here. Spirit, which which deck are we using to start? The Urban Crow. OK. Just one. OK. What do we have here for collective? Start us off here, please, Spirit. What's going on for this individual? What do I need to know? What do they need to know? Ooh, trickery. Interesting. Getting a little bit of buzzing there, too. Right away, I feel like somebody, some, like, fool me once, fool me twice, that whole kind of thing is coming through. <laughs> okay. Both answered it. Fool me once, F you. <laughs> fool me twice, F you. <laughs> fool me three times. F you is what I'm hearing. Um, this fear that's attached to this is definitely of being manipulated, being hoodwinked, being tricked into something. Maybe you have been tricked. If this is you, you're dealing with a situation over your lifetime where people have tried to take advantage of you to stretch the facts, to paint a picture that allows them to get what it is that they want and leaves you wanting. This could also be for some of you, just a fear of being tricked. And I do, I do feel like this is 
connected to a situation where you were taken advantage of in some way, though. Having a hard time right now knowing who to trust or what to trust. Okay. Ooh, okay, you guys. <laughs> Is that the road we're going down? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm up to it. I'm up to it. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, which other deck are we using here? One of these. Okay. This is the um, Starseed Oracle. Urban Crow Oracle, if I didn't say that. All the all the decks I use are in the description of the video. Can we get some more information here, please, Spirit? Oh. Two of them actually came out. So Child of the Cosmos. Child of the Cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. And then big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, and inspired ideas. Okay. So I feel like this is a reminder here to start, first of all, with the child of the cosmos. That you are here experiencing the entire cosmos, all of the universe, in your experience. You are not alone in this is what is I'm having a hard time describing this. You are not alone in this venture is what I'm what I'm getting. Even though it seems like you are the only player here doing this, there's so much behind the scenes and the ways that we are connected, not just us as humans, but throughout the grander design of everything where you're being supported you may not feel that or see that right now if you are in a place of fear, especially. That's making it difficult to remember. Remember who you are. Remember, Simba. <laughs> remember who you are. I say that a lot, um, not only because it's fun to say, but it is important for us to remember who we are. We may not remember completely all the time, but it's important to allow ourselves to go back to those places where we tap into our, I'm hearing is angelic roots. Interesting. To our higher vibrational makeup. And this makes sense with the fear component coming through here. We have to, mm, we have to allow ourselves to tap into those higher vibrational components of ourselves. It's not going to be forced upon us. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. With big picture thinking here, Pleiades energy, visionary inspired ideas. Um, I, what I'm getting actually so far, you guys, is something, someone here is experiencing, you may even be experiencing this greater awakening. The grand wake up is what I'm hearing. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, get out of bed. Um, there are these components to your experience where you are waking up to, it doesn't even have to be anything in particular. Waking up to the, the bigger picture of it all. Not even being, I'm having a hard time putting a human word onto it. Just feeling that interconnected nature. Realizing the, how small we are and how large we are at the same time. This individual, you guys are opening up new channels and pathways. And this is an interesting card because it's not, there aren't wings here, but it kind of looks like wings to me here with the energy. And these points here, like on the, the chest with the heart, solar plexus maybe, it feels like these are expanding. And as these energy systems or points inside of you are expanding as well, you're starting to get these new downloads that you haven't received before. And you're finding it difficult to know whether or not to trust these messages, these inspired ideas. This is interesting. Okay. I feel like we're getting to like the drop just, just before at the beginning of the ride there. I feel like this is a good message. So you guys are receiving some pretty potent and powerful downloads. And it's to such a degree that there's nothing that you can compare it to in your past. In previous experiences, you can't go, oh, yes, uh, I know this is, you know, 
my my guides or angels or whoever this whoever's giving me this information or I understand this is new information. This feels like something where it's triggering a fear response because it's so new and it's so big. And maybe it's so different even from what you've experienced or thought before, what others around you are experiencing or thinking. Maybe you're starting to feel a little bit crazy. <laughs> That sounds like a true wake, the grand wake up. Absolutely. Right. If you don't feel a little bit crazy, are you really waking up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's what I'm getting here so far, though. There's there's new stuff coming through for you guys. And you don't you don't even know how to assimilate this right now. OK, let's get further into this. Um, can we get uh, an animal oracle card here and we'll get into the tarot. Some more information here on this, please. Spirit. Oyster. Okay. Interesting. So oyster here. The oyster card is an energy of clamming up is what comes comes through with the oyster. And I know, um, well, that process, like the pearl, okay? We all have this pearl, right? Um, this is something that you came here to not only share, but experience yourself, whatever this pearl is, whatever this piece of mwah, is, that's a part of you. And we all have that piece, that stardust, right? It can be different for everybody. But what I'm getting from this is this anxiety, this fear that you're experiencing right now during this awakening is actually causing you to, to clamp, clam up, to close up. And this is the opposite of what needs to happen in order for that pearl to be seen in order for it to illuminate, to, to shine, to reflect the light, there needs to be a channel or access for that light to get there. So both of these cards, I'm getting the, uh, the stars. Okay. And the portal there, the gate, and then around her, those are just really standing out to me. Those are all the little, the pearls. Okay. This new information, these ideas, whatever's coming through download wise for you, the purpose of that is to help galvanize and support you to proudly show off this light. I'm getting this very interesting feeling here. Interesting. It's both, um, it's both comfortable and uncomfortable. I don't know how to describe this here. I'm kind of taking it as uh, this pearl could be your heart, right? It may be really, there may be a lot of fear, it may be really uncomfortable for you to open up this space that's really standing out to me here. But the amount of relief that comes through by opening that up and being authentic, allowing that part of yourself to be expressed it mixes with that discomfort and it, it provides, it's a pleasant feeling. It's just not, uh, I wouldn't say it's like purely positive. It's an interesting feeling. <laughs> um, so we're working to open up. Okay. This seems like this is important. That fear, that symbol came through in order to help alleviate, take that edge off here to make it a little bit less scary to open up to something. Okay, cool. Any other Oracle cards here? Yes, you want one, two of these? Okay, two of these real quick. Oh. Apology comes through. Forgiveness through mutual understanding. Interesting. And energy activation, connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. So some of you may... That fool me once, fool me twice. I feel like this isn't a full on apology that's that's coming up here. Maybe some of you are due an apology or you need to apologize to somebody else. But what's coming through is more that concept of forgiveness. This symbol will help in taking some of that fear away. What I'm getting also, though, along with energy activation, your participation, your, blah, blah, your participation is required. Yeah, some people are dumb and some people are going, to, I mean, we're always going to be hurt by others. It's the nature of being human. 
especially by those that we love or that love us the most. So what I'm getting here is a request to be a little bit more graceful, to have a little bit more grace for, that's an interesting energy too. Like say someone was screwing you over. Um, there's some really nasty and vile things that people can do to other people and they do happen. And I'm not saying, you know, it's it's your job to to forgive them ultimately or 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 any of that. What's coming through is more that like release yourself from that burden by allowing them grace too, i.e. knowing that they are human. You're not allowing something to be okay that it's happened to you or that somebody's done something to you, but you're allowing yourself to move away from that or to be stuck in that by giving grace to this individual too. Interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing like a counselor, especially. I don't know if you, maybe you guys are seeing a counselor. That could be something that would be good for you to participate in. But with the energy activation, if you're not meditating already or praying, I recommend starting both of those, okay? Meditation is the portion where we're receiving and listening. Prayer is the portion where we're asking or putting action into something. Both are required in order to have proper communication, right? Okay, so let's get into the tarot. Which, which tarot deck are we using here? Lightseer's tarot. All right. So, um, how do we want to start this here? I just want to know, Spirit, what, uh, where do you want me to start here? Why am I doing this reading? <laughs> Whoop. Okay, Three of Cups just fell out here to start. So this is success celebrating with your kindred spirits, your friends. Hmm. I'm hearing, don't go there. Don't go there. Why? Somebody may be dealing with, uh, I'm getting like false friends. Um, like an imitation true north. Okay, that's interesting. So this kind of feels, I've not really felt this before with this card, but this kind of feels like there was some sort of betrayal. Could have been third party. Somebody could have intervened in that way in like a relationship. It feels like you got screwed over in some way by somebody that you really trusted and loved. And this has affected your ability to know how to find north, to find your true north. Like that compass, interesting. Your compass has gotten jammed or broken because of this hit, whatever this is. What is the spirit? King of Swords comes in to clarify that. Yeah, discernment. It feels like, I can't, fool me once, fuck you, <laughs> fool me twice. I feel like this was a situation, whoever this person was, the writing was on the wall there the whole time, but I'm also getting, okay, the grace that's needed in this situation here needs to be given to you as well. This person, whatever happened here, was good is what I'm getting, especially with that King of Swords. They're a master, they're a master and a general. They're a master at uh, intellect here, the sword suit. You didn't see this person's dishonesty from the beginning because you're human. This is what I'm getting here. But you're behaving in such a way, like you're punishing them by maybe taking your presence away. Uh, you're punishing yourself, though, as well. That whole attitude of fool me once, fool me twice. There's this energy that's connected to that where deep down, it's like your, your inner child, your past self. You're just, I'm just getting this feeling of like, how could you have been so stupid? You are stupid, you know? And that's so rude. <laughs> Please don't do that. 
Sometimes people suck, like I said. This does not feel like a situation where you did anything wrong, though. This is a part of your growing pains. Okay. You're being shown how... Okay. God, that's a lot of information. Okay. <laughs> what I'm seeing is this... Um, like back in the day where... What are they called? Operators. <laughs> Mercury retrograde can be done anytime soon. That would be great. Um, operate like an operator plug. Hold please. And they plug in manually. But what I'm seeing is a bunch of different lights instead of these ports where you would plug something in. So it's this operator table, but it's utilizing light as a sense of some sort. What I'm getting from it <laughs> is you're being honed. You're being trained or shown how to tap into the right sense, okay? Like every, every light is recognizable, even the absence of light. It requires that you're connected to the sense that can perceive it though, okay. So if this is you in that situation, I'm beating yourself up, okay? Some grace for you. Okay, grace for you. Anything else on that, please, Spirit? I need to tell this individual. Three of Wands comes through here, too. So this is about expansion. I get this feeling that... Okay. There's something about skills like you have watched all of these people before you take their turn to the ocean here with your board, right? To surf. Maybe they've made it. Maybe they crashed. Maybe they got back up. Many different ways that one can experience a wave, right? When is it my turn is what's coming through. When do I get, when do I get my chance to, I, okay, blah, blah. when do I get my chance to investigate these waters? Feeling, um, I don't know, very Moana, I guess, kind of stuck on the island here, but wanting to explore every other horizon to expand. What I'm getting coming through on this is the only restriction in you exploring these waters is you, is fear. Which makes sense why the symbol's coming through here. There was a moment of discernment around a friend or a friend group. You let somebody in thinking that they were trustworthy, they ended up not being trustworthy. This isn't a less this isn't about you cutting everybody out or feeling fear completely over this situation for the rest of your life. It was only meant to help sharpen your discernment. Okay. Anything else here on the three of wands, please, spirit? Good expansion here. The magician. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, Eight of Swords here at the bottom, too. <clears throat> so, like I was saying, the only restriction here when you get near Surf on is you. And it may not, it may not look that way because this is a this is my brain feels very tired, like trying to navigate the images that I'm being shown. It feels very complex. And I I think that this is because especially if this is involving somebody that you once trusted, it's like you've put these barriers into play to guard that portion of yourself that was betrayed, whatever that, whatever that is. And that's real. But with so many walls that have come, come up, it's gotten confusing for your own system even to recognize what is the, what is the restriction here? If all those walls disappeared, you'd get right to the right to the heart of the issue here. And this is it's fear. <laughs> fear is holding you back and you may not even recognize that that's what it is. 
fear of being hurt again, fear of being exploited, rejected, whatever's happened. But the magician comes out here to clarify the three of wands. You have everything that you need. You already have everything that you need. You've got the surfboard. All that's needed is the energy to make it happen. So eat your oatmeal. <laughs> the energy to make this happen comes from stopping the bleed. And the bleed is this fear. Like this fear is taking energy away from you. It's making it difficult for you to go where you need to go. And I think connected to these like downloads to these inspired ideas you may be receiving. Ah, okay. This is where you're feeling tricked potentially. Your defenses are being triggered right now because you're receiving information that's telling you what to do here, what to create with the magician, what, what to do with your energy. Because of a discernment issue in the past here, you're feeling like you may be tricked. You may be being tricked currently, or that wound never got a chance to heal. So it's difficult to know who to trust, including yourself. This is saying it's time to address that. You got places to go. You got things to do. You have, you have oceans to explore. Maybe you are literally looking to travel. Maybe fear is a component of that as well. Whatever fear is stopping you from doing right now, there is this push currently where we're being moved into the places that we wanted to be in before coming here. We intended to be. And that's only gonna that's only gonna start getting more and more uncomfortable because it's getting more and more extreme, especially the longer that we push or resist any sort of change or resisting trusting as well. Okay, I feel like I should pull, you want one of these? Yeah, let's pull an archetype card here from the wild unknown for a person. There's too many. Just one of these. Thank you. The pilgrim. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you guys are on a pilgrimage right now. So this pilgrimage being spiritual, there's a journey that you're taking right now. Waking up to realizing you are a child of the cosmos, these inspired ideas that are coming to you. This is a, a tricky journey, though. There are dangers that are involved with this. I do feel like there are um, the eye is really standing out to me. I feel like that eye is your own, like your own ego. Interesting. I'm getting this feeling of something trying to knock you off your journey which is totally fear, ego. I do feel like there's this dry, or maybe maybe you've even actually come away from that path or you don't know. Interesting, okay. What I'm getting is that maybe you've always been a spiritual person or maybe you've, you know, you're far into this journey of, of awakening or, or however you want to put that. It could be religious too. It, it doesn't really matter. What I'm getting is that you're at a point in your journey right now where nothing is making sense. You don't know who to trust. Sources that were trustworthy before are proving to no longer be trustworthy. Either there's proof not to trust them or you're just getting new feelings that this is not a situation to trust. This person is, looks like they're putting their hands to their heart here. This is something that's been coming through a bit with the heart and that feeling. <laughs> it's like your heart is pushing or trying to push you forward on this journey. And there is that resistance, those barriers that you've built up as well. That's where it's kind of like this feeling of comfort and discomfort I was explaining earlier. I feel like you're really close though, in this process of ascent. 
there's never a final destination, right? At least here in, in humanhood. Okay, what is that? You are being asked to see something, though, but what is it? I think about the mountain card here in the archetype deck, too, which mentions that if you think that the ascent, the process of the ascent is the most important where it's all at, you are fooled. There is treasure. There are gems in digging deep as well. What is it that this what this person needs to see right now? What's what's uh, what's buried deep here? What do they need to see? The fool, <laughs> death and rebirth here too. Um, so this did come out in reverse, kind of sideways, a little bit of both. I feel like, like I said, you guys are almost there, just almost there, uh, with death and rebirth here at the bottom too. So something is coming to an end, the way that you've been living life, the way you've been experiencing it. I feel like it's what's come to an end here is your senses, the way that you have experienced life up to this point and being brought back to those light, that light board, the light bright board. <laughs> um, the access that you had to the senses prior have been shut off. You are now being requested to tap into these new senses, these new, these new abilities. And that's feeling uncomfortable here. There's some discomfort. You might feel a pinch. Uh, that's why I feel like this came in a little bit, a little bit of both here. There's a new journey that's available to you where you're stepping into faith again, where you're learning trust again. But this requires that you take a trust fall. <laughs> you have to trust fall into trust. But there's no other way to be reborn except into the fire. Okay, yeah. So what you're being requested to see here, just to get back to that with the pilgrim, 3223 on the timer as well, is um, the resistance. Maybe <laughs> resistance, your resistance, okay? Resistance to starting something new. What is this? What is this newness? Can, what is the fool? Why the fool here? Yeah, I'm getting like, she's hanging on to this stick here. You can't really see that it's attached to anything. But what I'm getting is kind of like there's a hook on the other end. So you're hooked on here and you're leaning over the cliff. You want to start this new journey. You want to have faith. You will be caught and led to where you need to go. But you also don't want to, to be the fool. So you're hanging on to something that feels safe. But it's actually making this whole process much worse. Okay. Anything else here on the on the fool, this new journey? The hanged man in reverse. <laughs> so um, what I'm getting, <laughs> what I'm getting from that is you're putting yourself into places that you need not be. Typically, the hanged man is about seeing seeing something from a different angle. Um, and it's still a part of this in reverse. But what I'm getting is the resistance. OK, like you're in this place. You're in this place, whether you want to be or not, there is a need to surrender to that, to relax into trust or faith. And I mean, you could not trust or faith, but you're going to have a bad time. You're being shown interesting. This, the purpose for all of this is to help show you your power, your purpose, and how flexible you can be, how resilient you can be. And I think that's the component that you may not be seeing at this time, too, is your own strength. You're a badass, whoever you are. <laughs> Feel free to tell me. I'd love to meet you guys. Um, I do try to chat as I can. So, yes, this feels very much like same with hanging on with the, the hook there. There's a need to, like, relax, to just relax. Allow yourself to take this journey. You're already taking this journey. Be on the journey. Okay. 
Long, long journey, almost over. <laughs> uh, Knight of Swords comes through here too, and the Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom. So I do feel like things are going to be changing pretty quickly, actually, especially with the Knight of Swords here. As soon as you relax into safety is what I'm hearing. What do you need to do to feel safe inside of yourself? Because this isn't an action that's being taken outside of it. Nobody's providing safety for us. Like sometimes, you know, sometimes, but realistically, we need to be our own nurturer. We need to be our own protector first. And that's what I'm getting from this. So things start turning in your favor, major improvements when you start following with faith, with trust. This individual is running towards their goals here very quickly, but they're also being led. Let spirit be your sight. There's something about you don't need to you don't need to see the whole road right now or ever. What you need to see is that your goal is within sight. There are, with the crow up here, the spiritual, your guides, angels, teachers, ancestors, there are energies that are keeping a lookout for you in all other directions and in all other ways so that you can focus your energy towards something a little bit more close to home. If you're diverting all of that energy towards you know, keeping a lookout because you were screwed over, whatever happened here, that's all very real. But it's taking away from your quality of life. So the message that's really coming through on this for me, you guys, is you're being shown how to alleviate, how to let go of the things that are taking away from your life. The heaviest things are taking the most away from your life. Interesting. Interesting. Anything else on that? Success. <laughs> it's time to shine. Success from what you pour your heart into. There's the heart again. So this could even be, for some of you, it could be love, romantic love, or friendship, connection with others in general. I just get this very... It's a jaded feeling, but it's not... It's almost like you're not intentionally adopting that behavior it's just sort of become who you are at this point we do learn as we go along through life what is safe what is not safe and you know we make educated decisions based off that as far as far as moving forward but if we were to say that all other people you know because there is a chance that they're they are not safe it is not safe to make any connections with any person that also I mean, it isn't a completely true statement, and it definitely is a lonely statement, right? That's kind of the energy I'm getting is there have been the perfect storm of things that have gotten you to a place where you've lost trust and faith in people, in safety in joy and happiness. These are the growing pains, okay. These are the growing pains that you're working through right now that is not a final destination you can't you can't stop there you're processing through what you need to process through right now but that can't be a final destination there's success okay is there anything else you want me to say on that please spirit <laughs> four of pentacles interesting four of pentacles came out safety security <laughs> Totally. So that's, yeah, I just get that as, as confirmation. This is exactly what, what is going on here. Um, strength and Knight of Pentacles in reverse came out as well. This isn't easy. This requires you to dig deep. There's that grace and compassion for yourself first. Teaching yourself how to be graceful and compassionate towards yourself allows you to learn how to do that with others as well. Uh, but with the Knight of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles, for some of you, it kind of feels like 
a situation where you, you made a bad investment of some sort. It could have been literal money, time, energy, like I said, with a person, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And because of that, that's where this issue with your safety and security is coming from. And there's the heart again <laughs> with strength too. Your heart is the answer to all of this, okay? You may need to break down intentionally some barriers that are preventing you even or any anyone else from getting there. But doing that allows you to really start experiencing real peace. I feel like those ideas, the inspired ideas that are coming through as well, are coming through your heart. I did do Libra earlier today too, but I felt called to to wear this. This is it's a Labradorite, but it's a dragon's heart. Hmm? The heart. Okay. Let's close this out with an oracle message here. Spirit, which deck do you want to use? BB is not a deck. <laughs> BB, baby, hmm? Um, which deck, please? Go with the Blue Angel Oracle. I don't know, maybe BB means something to you. Um, last message here, please, Spirit. For this individual. Two? Okay. Oh, Eternity. Eternity and Peace Angel came through here. So I'm going to read Peace Angel, actually, from the book. Oh, that's <laughs> 44 and 4. Oh, yay. You guys, 444. Four, four. <laughs> I love that. So this is a reminder also. I have all the chills on that. This is a reminder also that you are being guided. You are being protected. 444 four, four is a call from the angels. Hey, we're here. Okay. Oh, yay. So 44, uh, 44, eternity is this reminder that everything is eternal. Um, everything is constantly folding in the past, the present is constantly folding into the present moment. So bringing you back to this place of, of presence, whatever's happened in the past may as well be moot. It needs to be moot. The future is also moot. The present moment is, is where it's at, okay? Um, so peace angel, acceptance. You will find peace when you learn to love and accept yourself as you are. How you see yourself usually determines how others see and react to you. When you what you see in the world around you is your own reflection. Surrender your negative thoughts. Your fear, hurt, and anger can be healed through love. Hey, 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 hey. Holding on to these emotions serves only to keep you stuck in a cycle of pain and suffering. Accept and love yourself as you are without condition. Count your blessings and not your faults. Let your heart let your beautiful heart be filled with light. When you let go of your desire to change things, a beautiful transformation occurs. Just love. Just be love. If we focus on the eternal, we will remain unaffected by the changing experiences of life. And that's what, so to wrap that up, to bring that back into eternity. Uh, that's Ama, uh, the quote. So if we focus on eternity, which brings us back to the present moment, well, there you go, you guys. So whatever it is that this situation, this person has created callous is what I'm getting created this callous. It's time to, it's time to slough off those hooves, right? <laughs> time to get those out of there. Okay. Are we, is that, is that anything else spirit? No. Okay. You guys, I love you so much. And I know with this message, Especially if this is like, if you really are that deep behind these barriers, this is probably not super easy to receive as far as a message. So if you made it this far, thank you guys so much for receiving that message, for having the strength and courage to allow yourself to be open to something that doesn't feel comfortable. I'm really proud of you for that. And I love you. Okay. Um, I'm going to take off from here. I really hope that this was helpful, you guys. If you are um, interested in memberships, by the way, I'll Plug that, I guess. I do have memberships available, three different tiers. If you want to check that out, there's a join button next to the subscribe. I do have personal readings that are open and available at this time. You can check out my website. There's a link in the description of this video, okay? I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description of the video as well. If you feel called to tip or donate, this message resonated with you. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It isn't mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It goes a long way. So. 
I love you. Please take care of yourself. And I'll see you soon. Be well.